What's going on, YouTube? We just took Kayvon Thibodeau with the fifth pick. And the Panthers just took Akeem Aquanu. Guess what? The consensus tackle number one is still on the board. The consensus tackle number one is still on the board. Yeah, now, I'm streaming right now. I see somebody in the chat saying that if they take crossover, you know, they'll be mad. I won't be mad because all of these tackles are solid. I think Cross is the best pass protector. I think Neil is the best of both worlds. But the Giants took Thibodeau, and now we have a chance. We have a chance to get Evan Neal and Kayvon Thibodeau in the same draft again. How many people, how many people would believe you if you told them in, uh, what, in December or in November or even in January that you would get Kayvon Thibodeau and Evan Neal in the same draft, even if we don't, to get any of these top tackles and Kayvon Thibodeau in the same draft is nuts to me. It's bonkers. It's completely bonkers. It's completely bonkers, man. So they got uh they got Aquanu up there doing his thing. I'm happy for Aquanu that he went that high. But hey, listen, it's time to get the business. The Giants looking like they're gonna handle some business today. Because if Evan Neal is on that board, man, if listen, he's on the board. It's not about if. He's on the board right now. And if the Giants go ahead and take him, my night is good. My night is perfect, man. My night is perfect. The pick should already be in. The Giants got 348 to make their pick. But in my mind, it should definitely already be in. My computer's going crazy. Overheating and all that jazz. Because it's probably excited about what we just saw on the, on the screen. <laughs> With Kayvon Thibodeau. Yeah, they probably are looking for trades, but I don't care. Like, they, they don't need to be making this trade what the Giants need to be doing right now is walking up to that board and walking up to Roger Goodell or whoever you got to walk up to. The pick is in. We didn't trade it. The pick is in. This pick will 100% either be Evan Neal or Charles Cross. We saw a lot of smoke about Charles Cross. We heard that they liked uh, Evan Neal. But guess what? We're going to find out which one they really liked. We're going to find that out right now. We're going to find it out. Pick is in. I'm trying not to look at my chat. Trying not to look at the chat. They still, they're saying the Giants pick is in. All right. Can we get can we get Roger Goodell to walk up to this stage again, man? I I would really appreciate that if Roger Goodell could just walk up to this stage. I see the chat. Listen, my chat is is against Charles Cross. I won't hate it. I just need the right tackle right now. They're showing a license plate guy on the screen holding up a nil, you know, nameplate for a back of a jersey. I hope it's Evan Neal, but I won't be mad if it's Charles Cross. But I'm going to be so excited if it's Evan Neal. Like, that would be just amazing. That would be amazing. All right. Roger the Dodger, can you come on out here? Can you come on out, man? We were four minutes into this video. Four minutes in, and we still haven't made this pick. The Giants move slow, man. All these teams are moving slow, but the Giants seem like they're taking their time to make their picks. Can we get Evan Neal in a, in a New York Giants jersey? Can we get Evan Neal, this beast Evan Neal, in a New York Giants jersey? Where is Roger? Where are you, Roger? Where are you? What's going on? All right, there he is. There he is. I'm not going to look at the chat. I'm not going to look at the chat. With the seventh pick in the NFL draft, the Giants select. Let me hear it. Evan Neal. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, again. This is, listen, 
I'm just going to tell you something right now, people. There is no way that you could have convinced me that this will happen even two weeks ago. There's no way you could. There's no way that you can convince this. And shout out to Justin Pinnock from Talking Giants. He said that the Giants loved Evan Neal and they loved Kayvon Thibodeau. And guess who they got? And yeah, it's kind of a common sense kind of thing, but they actually fell to the Giants. Are you serious? This dude Evan Neal that shut out people. The dude Evan Neal that shut down Trayvon Walker when people tried to sit there and tell me. Why are you making Trayvon Walker film session when he's going against the best tackle in football? We'll keep that same energy, people. Keep that same energy. Because Evan Neal is a New York Giant. Evan Neal is a New York football giant. This dude is a monster. He's going to be across from Andrew Thomas for the next, what, at least the next three or four years. He's going to be across from Andrew Thomas. Hopefully for the next 10 years, they're across from each other. Two blue chip SEC offensive tackles who were the consensus best tackles in college football both times coming out are New, are New York Giants now. And then you add on the fact that we get Kayvon Thibodeau at five. Thank you, Joe Shane. Thank you, Dave Gettleman, for making that trade last year. I'm not going to leave him out of this because even though we can't stand the guy, he made this trade and he made it happen. He was part of it. Now, he probably would have taken Jordan Davis, or he probably would have taken somebody else crazy. But Joe Shane and Brian Dable came out, and they did their thing. They were no-brainer picks, but they did their thing. Kayvon Thibodeau, that whole stuff about him not caring about football and all of that other trash was garbage. Dude is a New York football giant. We talked to him multiple times. We kept calling. We kept reaching back out to do more research, and we got our guy. Evan Neal is on the board two picks later. The Panthers win at Quanu. I love it, man. I love it. Because Evan Neal is the best mix in this draft of guys who can run block, who can maul, and pass protect. The dude is six foot seven, 300 and what, 40 pounds? 350 pounds, something ridiculous like that. And he looks like he's 300 pounds. This, this first round... Again, listen, I got a comment from Alex right now in this live stream that says A plus first round. Hopefully we can land some more solid players in the draft. Listen, you couldn't do it any better than this in the first round. You just couldn't do it any better than this as a New York Giants team. You can't do better than this. You needed an offensive tackle in the worst way. You needed an edge rusher in the worst way. You got both of them. Something in my mind tells me that they might have tried to take a corner, which is glad that I'm got, they got those corners out of the way. I'm so glad they got those corners out of the way before we got there, and they took the foundations. How do you get good as a team? You win on the line of scrimmage, and that's where we're going to win. Have somebody coming off the edge like a banshee and have somebody protecting the edge like a banshee. I mean, the wall, the SEC wall that we're putting together, on either side of the line, I'm so proud of it. I'm so proud of it. I can't wait to see these dudes play. I can't wait to see these dudes play. I'm so glad that the Giants went ahead and took Thibodeau before the Eagles could trade up ahead of us and do that, you know, funny business they like to do. I'm glad it happened. Ooh, thank you, Joe Shane. You put together some really good picks, man. You put together some really good picks. I couldn't, I couldn't ask for anything better. You guys let me know what you're thinking of this draft, of this Giants first round in the comments. I'm hype. Let me know. 